Welcome home, brave heroes. I'm Ash, this is AshQuest, and instead of sticking around here and listening to me for the next 20 to 30 minutes, I'd like you to turn around. I'll gently push you back out the door, and you'll instead go to Gen Con. Well, sort of. I didn't get to go to Gen Con this year, and if you didn't either, fret not. We can still relive it through the eyes of some other reputable content creators and mega fans like ourselves. In this case, I would love for you to go visit XSC, home of Hero Quest fans, and join Kurgan as he sits down with key members of the Avalon Hill team and interviews them about Hero Quest and a variety of other interrelated topics. You'll get a pretty insightful look, or listen rather, of the game development process and what goes through Avalon Hill's minds when they develop new content for Hero Quest or when they are adapting older content from our classic game. I feel like a lot of what Encarmine says in particular can put players at ease, especially with the multitude of concerns that have been brought up around the newer Hero Quest. All of the controversial topics. You just go watch the interview. I think that you're going to really, really like what he has to say. And if this happens to be your first time hearing about Home of Hero Quest fans, the man also has a lot of other Hero Quest related content, including live gameplays with fans over on his Twitch channel. You'll hear more about that if you go check him out. I'll put all links in the description below, one to the channel as well as all of the specific interviews that he's got up there so far. And this wacky orc man has also interviewed me on his channel, so I hope you'll get a chance to check that out as well. That's it. What are you doing here? Get out of here. I've got some cleaning up around here to do anyway. You heroes like to track in all sorts of things. Mud, blood, bones. One of you brought in a necklace of orc ears that was kind of... You can also check out the home of HeroQuest fans Discord, linked in the description below. Sometimes I get dragged into some random chit chat there, and you'll even see some activity from the lovely and Carmine, who is pictured in this interview screen shot. The man brings me up only to mention my distaste for the increased ogre BP. You're all going to agree with me. The ogre should have 10 BP. The monks are strong. They will see to changing your mind. All right, enough about that. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of your day. Until then, onward, brave heroes.